right, you guys. Good morning. So today we're going to work on restorative exercises. What I'm going to do is draw the arms up and reach as high as you can, and then sink and externally rotate your knees out. So if you think about that, you are ultimately how you move. Just think about that for a moment. So if you know any older people in your life that possibly are having a hard time moving, you are how you move, right? So the more that we can increase the range of motion, the stability, the balance, the coordination, the flexibility in our life, rotate from here and take that right leg out and then drive over and take your bottom hip forward. Just like they tell you, you are what you eat. You are how you move. So big breath in from here. Unfortunately, we are limited by our inability to move. Rotate from here. Nice deep breath in. And then exhale and open it back out. Just two more times from here. So inhale, exhale, open, finding that center of balance. One more time, rotate. And open now, push through your back leg and reach all the way back up. We're just gonna switch to the other side. So as the hips naturally wanna rotate, we're gonna bring them forward. Come all the way over the side, take your bottom hip and rotate it forward, line up your arms. If comfortable, you can look to the ceiling and then follow. Neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in, and then open. Finding that center of balance as you rotate. Exhale, so increasing the stability, the coordination of the body. One more time, exhale, and reach. Push your back foot and all the way back up. So soften from here, take those heels in, and first quick little open for your inner thigh. So take that deep breath in, take your left shoulder and rotate it down towards that right side. So you're trying to restore, think about healthy movement patterns in your body. So we get stuck with a job where we're sitting and we are we don't have a lot of mobility, not a lot of, not a lot of movement. We're gonna try to restore that to create healthy patterns of movement by focusing on your breath as you move, lengthen your legs, take a nice deep breath in, and then also work your body through a complete full range of motion. So what I mean by that here is start with circles with your left leg. Now maybe you're here. You can use a chair, you can use a wall. You want to be able to move your hip through that complete range of motion, cross and open. Now bring it out and in. One, two, three, one more, and four. Now we're going to switch sides. So come across the center, back out. Two, three, and four, now externally rotate, one, two, three, really exaggerate it, and four. Now we're just gonna go open one and then the other. So this helps you to also challenge your balance a little bit. Externally rotate, one more time both sides. Now internally, cross the center line and exaggerate. Two more, cross and switch. Now if you have your resistance band, we're gonna add some rotation. You don't need to use a resistance band, you can use a belt. The resistance band just allows you to bring the upper body strength into this because you have the resistance of your one arm from the other. So shoulders back, I'm gonna rotate here just to that right side. One, two, three, and four. If you can pull in that direction, five, six, 
seven, eight, two more. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. One, two, three, exhale for four, five more. One, two, three, and four, one more, and five, shoulders back. Now we're gonna add that rotation using our oblique. So this time as I rotate to the right side, I'm gonna take my right knee and cross it to the left, the left elbow. Now look all the way to that right side. One, two, three, four. Same thing here, I can use my elbow. Five, I don't have to have a band. Six, seven, I can lift up that knee as high as I can. Eight, and nine, one more, and 10. Now switch sides, open, two, try playing with your arms, three, maybe it feels good, you can come higher, five, but don't lean forward, keep your upper body tall, so this is best, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, roll it back, very good. Take your band, place it down. Just some light butt kickers. So if I know that this isn't gonna work, I can do this and alternate, or I can actually tap. So inhale, exhale. The goal, 50 jumps a day. Increase that bone density. Keep those bones strong. You can do that three different times during your day. Inhale, exhale. Now, it doesn't work to do a jack. You do a half jack. Big breath in, big breath out. Soft on your feet. No tension or stress here. So if it doesn't work, make it work. Four. Three, pretend jump rope. Just soft on your feet. Inhale, exhale. Tap your heels. Inhale, exhale. Tap your toes. Big breath in. Make it work. Side to side. Inhale, exhale. Nice big breath in. Five, four, three, two, and relax it. Reach for the sky, spread your wings, and let it go. So by increasing our range of motion, we can prevent injuries. Work that balance and coordination. Nice deep breath in. Power, endurance, and strength. So if I do not have a resistance band, I can use some light weights for this move. The movement is going to be with my weights, airplane, tricep kickback. I'm gonna do this with my resistance band. All right, so standing leg, right side. Shoulders back, belly button in. From here, as my leg comes up, my head comes down. Same distance, I wanna choke up on my resistance band and my weights. Bend here, take the weight to the hip. And as you left, try to kick back. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Shoulders back. Now from here, stay static. One place, but bend your front knee. Nice inhale. Sink through your back leg. And then as you lengthen, kick back. One, two. Three, your neck is in neutral. 
Abdominal muscles in four, press the front heel, pop it up, lengthen into that pyramid. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now stay here, tiny bend, and we're gonna pulse. One, two, three, four. You can either straighten both legs or keep that front knee bent. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and let it go. Great work, you guys. Take that from here. Drop your band for a moment. Reach for the sky. Externally rotate from here. Cross it. Use a chair or a wall. Find that center of balance. Sink down. Find that focal point. Inhale. And exhale. You're going to do that two more times. So just reach, pull it back across, find the center of balance, and sink. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to go one more time. Maybe I'll be helped come, come a little bit further. Use that wall or sit on a chair. And then sink. Big breath in, take your time. Inhale. Exhale. Externally rotate that knee and open up that hip. Very good. We're switching to the other side, you guys. Price of kickback airplane. So weights or resistance. Nice deep breath in. Choke from here. Hands at the hip with my weights and my resistance band. And kick back. One. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Now I'm going to step it back, hip distance apart, shoulders back. Bend forward and hinge from the hip. Sink. Kick back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Press it up front heel. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Big breath in. Sink it. Kick it. One, two, three. Four, you can keep your legs straight, you can keep it soft. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. Now open it up. Big breath in, externally rotate, cross, find that balance. Sink into it, inhale, and exhale. Bring it back up. Inhale, again, cross it. Maybe you'll sink a little bit further. Big breath in. Focal point, balance, stability, coordination, range of motion, one more time. Cross it, finding that center and sinking, relaxing the shoulders. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and place that down. Lengthen your legs. Now from here, I want you to be comfortable rotating slightly towards your right side. So I'm gonna take my right foot at a 45 degree angle, push through the heel, make sure the knee doesn't travel past the toe. As I come from here, this leg is gonna transfer and I'm gonna to try to take from here that left hand and tap. One. Two, three. Now up to you whether you sink or not. Four, you can work your balance. Five, six, you can do a tree pose. Seven, if your legs are too tired. Eight, nine, one more. Now open and circle back. Increase that range of motion in your arms. 
I can either keep my knees bent and really focus here on sinking my hips, or I can roll my legs straight. Inhale, rewind it, and exhale. We're trying to focus on that breath. We're always trying to exhale as we exert emotion. So pulling that belly button in, keeping that core engaged and tightening the back. Now we're switching to the other side. Now, rotate your toe. Nice deep breath in from here. So we're sinking, right hand, tap, sink. One, two, three. Now four, sink, five, and six. Press your heel, you guys look great. Eight. A nine, one more, and 10. Great breath in now, open. So find that center of balance here, reach from the sky, open, bend that knee, and then circle. Now I can keep my hips naturally or rotate here. If I open them forward, I can really work on that external rotation, or I can stay right here. Now increase that range of motion in your shoulder. Now rewind it. You've got that flexibility that you're working on, the range of motion in your arms, your balance, your coordination. Big breath in. Awesome work, you guys. Lengthen those legs. Follow down, contract the quads, interlace your hands here and reach for the sky. So think about being able to utilize your body to your maximum potential. So try it again. Lengthen, lift those arms up. Squeeze, contract, and back up. One more time now. Open. Okay, so now we're gonna come over into a quick stretch for the hip. So I'm gonna bend and take that right knee forward. My back leg, I can tuck my pelvis, not come very far, or I can really lengthen here. Now this can be helpful to have a chair or a wall close by if touching the floor when I come here doesn't work, okay? So we're gonna go from a lunge to a pyramid, which is just where you lengthen your legs. So shoulders back, belly button in, now I can keep my back knee down or I can lengthen. Inhale, exhale, shoot arrows of energy to reveal. Now, if flexibility is an issue, I can also take my back heel, sink it down and just not come all the way with the movement. So I can stay here, sink and lengthen and just make the motion smaller or down and up. Two more, inhale, lengthen, and exhale. One more time, your neck is in neutral. Open up through those hips in whatever way feels best for you, and then lengthen. Wonderful job. Now open up your quadricep. You can do the same thing from standing. You can place your foot on a chair seat. If this works, we're gonna pull this up from here. Find this balance. Now find your focal point. And if it doesn't work, the hands on the knee or the floor, and maybe just reaching for the flag is just too much. And that's fine too. You can stick with this movement and open up that hip. One more time, lengthen, rotate your back heel 45 degrees, and then come all the way up and open. Now shoulders down, belly button in. Tuck your elbow and reach. Create one line from your heel and your hip to your fingertip. Very good, you guys. We're gonna rotate to the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna come to that lunge facing the other way. If I know it's an issue, my feet are hip distance, I can bend here and I can lengthen so I can work through that range of motion so that it works. So big breath in, 
I can tuck my pelvis here. Maybe this is enough. Inhale. Exhale. Try to come to that pyramid if you can. Big stretch here, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Try to bring your chin toward your knee. Lengthen your spine. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, one more time now. Inhale. Exhale. Big stretch in. Now I'm going to sink back down. Open up here through this quadriceps. This works. I can always stay here. My foot can be up on top of a chair. Find that balance. If you don't have a soft surface, it can really hurt the knee. So a pillow under that knee if it helps. Open up the chest, shoulders back, belly button in. Increase that space in the quadriceps. Inhale, let it go. You're gonna pop it back up. Take your back foot 45 degrees and then reach all the way open and lengthen. So ideally, I can open up here the hip, knee does not come past the toe, tuck the elbow, and give it a nice big stretch here, you guys. So from your heel to your hip to your fingertip, rotate your bottom shoulder, try to line it up with your top. Wonderful job, big breath here. And we're just gonna push through the back leg and open. Wonderful work, you guys. We have our stepping back burpees. If you hate burpees, then you do this using a chair, stepping back slowly. You can also jump back if you're ready to get right into it and go for it. This is more about increasing that space in the body, balance, coordination, and strength. I'm gonna reach from the sky. From here, nice deep forward bend. I'm gonna step back here and take that right leg, left leg. I'm in a plank position, abdominal muscles in. Now I'm going to go ahead from here and take that left foot forward, right foot forward, squat and reach. Now, if you want something more than that, when you come back, you're going to do a jack, come back in as we step. All right. So big breath in now, inhale, forward bend, step back right, left, we're in a plank position. Abdominal muscles in. Take your right foot forward, left foot forward, squat and reach. Lengthen, contract your quadriceps. Left foot back, right foot back. Plank, square up your hips, engage your abs. Feel that strength in your body, neck and neutral. Left foot forward, right foot forward, sink low and reach. Forward bend, right foot back, left leg back, neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in, right foot forward, left foot forward, deep squat, reach for it, forward bend, step back left and right, neck in neutral, make sure palms are over your shoulders, left foot, Right foot, two more times, you guys. Forward bend, flat back, right foot back, left foot back. Neck in neutral, abdominal muscles and feel the strength of your body. Right foot, left foot, sink. Last one now, forward bend. You can take your legs as wide as you feel comfortable. Step back left. And right, abdominal muscles in now. Feel that strength of your body. Left foot forward, right foot forward, and reach. Wonderful job. All right, so let's do a quick little move here. If I do not have my resistance band, I can use a rope tie. So what we're gonna do first here, we're gonna take this band underneath your left foot. So I want you to try to use this 
as a hammock as we're working our balance. Now, if I know this is not my strong suit, I'm gonna use the chair and I'm gonna avoid this. So find that center and take your arms and bend them. Your focus is gonna be on lengthening your leg and kicking it forward. So your shoulders are back, your belly button's in. Take from here that posture and roll your shoulders back. Tuck your pelvis forward, line up your shoulders and your hips and your ankles. Now take from here that knee and lift it up to hip height. Now as you lengthen your leg, you're gonna to try to lengthen it here to hip height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and rest. Now, hip distance apart, lengthen. Now I would use weights here if I don't have a resistance band that moves. So I'm gonna lunge position, I'm gonna sink from here, and then lateral raise. So one, two, no tension or stress here in the shoulders or the neck as I lift. Five, six, seven, eight. You can do this without sinking. Nine, just focus on that lateral raise. Now 10 pulses. One, two, and four, six, Great job, you guys. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Pyramid stretch. Weight to resistance, lengthen, and take your chin and try to bring it over your toe. It's a big four bet. Inhale, lengthen that front leg, pop it up, and then step forward. So we're switching. Now you can use your rope tire resistance here, finding that center of balance with the first set of our snap kicks. So anchoring, shoulders back, belly button in, standing up nice and tall, lifting up, holding the arm steady. One, two, three, exhale, four, five. Where's that belly button? Six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now, if I need to grab my weights here, we're gonna go ahead and step back, hip distance, shoulders down, lateral raise. I can do this without using my legs. One, two, three, and four, five, make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders. Six, seven, lift with your body. Eight, abdominal muscles in, starting at your heel. Nine, traveling up your leg, into your core, and then the arms. Four more. Three, use your breath. Two, one more. Now a little pulse. Inhale. You guys are so strong. Five more, five, four, three, two, and give that a rest. Lengthen, hands at your hip. Hinge forward, pyramid stretch. Wonderful job, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna go on our hands and knees. We're gonna do a few things from the floor. But we think about creating space in the body and increasing the range of motion. The cat cow movement is one of the best. So from here, your palms are underneath your shoulders. You're gonna take a nice inhale, round your back, take from here that big cat stretch and exhale and increase that space here. By sinking from here, the abdominal muscles in, keep heat controlled. Inhale, tuck your pelvis, separate your shoulders. Exhale, open. One more time, inhale. 
exhale. Now go ahead here and come to a neutral spine. Now the abdominal muscles are in. You're going to take from here your right arm, reach it, left leg. So square off your hips. If this does not work, you can come down from your forearm and instead you can tap and lift. Now, abdominal muscles in, lengthen square your hips. Exhale, one, two, three, four, press through your heel, five, squeeze your glutes, belly button in, seven, eight, nine, one more, and relax it, push back, child's pose. Rock your hips side to side. Increase that space between your hips and your fingertips. If this does not work, try puppy pose. That's where your hips are high and your head is low. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now we're going to go ahead and come to that bird dog on the other side. So neck in neutral, toes curl. Shoulders away from the ears. I'm going to lengthen here. Left arm, right leg, or if you get the other side, exhale. One, two, exhale for three. Now squeeze and lengthen. Long through that spine. Neck in neutral. Abs in. Exhale as we pull it in. Four more. Four. Exhale, three, exhale, two, one more. Sink back once again and let it go. Gentle rotation of your hips. Great job, you guys, puppy pose. All right, so. Talking about our balance coordination stability. Few of you have tried this. And if you've not, we're gonna go slow, okay? So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna to come to a side plank. Now we've done this before where you focus here on your back foot, lengthening and you come elbow to knee. You can always come back to this move, okay? You can always rest as you need to, and then you can cross it over. Anytime you need to. I'm going to show you the move and then we'll break it down. So big breath in, elbow knee, elbow knee. I'm going to take my foot, step it forward. Think about a lunge here. Back foot, lengthen towards this foot, other foot. Come back in, drop this knee, and reset. So let's go slow. We've got elbow knee first. Elbow knee, elbow knee, step that foot forward. Lengthen, other leg, triangle, reach for this toe. Switch, pull back through. Come back to that lunge and reset. So neck in neutral, abdominal muscles in. Elbow knee, elbow knee, step. Pyramid triangle, reach, switch, reach, step back down, bring it up and do half of the move. Elbow knee, elbow knee step. A lengthen, square it off. Maybe I can't come all the way down. Back through, reach for it. Elbow knee, elbow knee step. Lengthen, flat back, reach. Switch and reach and sink. Open, elbow knee. Elbow knee, step it. Give me that big stretch here, you guys. Reach for it, switch it, reach for it. We've got two more. Make it count. Reach, pull, reach, pull, step. Lengthen, flat back. Lengthen, switch, lengthen. Last time, you guys, open. Knee pull, knee pull, step. Big triangle with those legs. 
Flat back, reach. Switch. Reach. Stay right here. Lengthen that leg and open it up. Big breath in. You're going to thread the needle. Right hand reaches under and open it up. If it doesn't work to lengthen the leg, bend the knee. Either side of the head foot works. Deep breath now. Walk it back up. Open it up now. Left arm comes toward that right leg. I'm going to lengthen and open that right arm and lengthen, reaching towards my toes. Here's side of the head if it works. If it doesn't work to lengthen my leg and the child goes, but I can still thread the needle. Wonderful job. Back up and then open all the way to that side. Nice deep breath in, you guys. Wonderful work. Now, as we rotate to the other side, I'm going to take my hand and my towards my foot and then reach that arm all the way behind me while in pose. Now, to the corner without shrugging my shoulders. Big breath in. Awesome work. Let's settle it in for the next side. So, we're reaching and lengthening here. Shoulders back. Neck in neutral. Back toe anchors. Top leg lifts. What's the move? Elbow knee. You've done this one a million times. Back to your elbow knee. Take that foot, place it forward in the lunge. Back leg, lengthen. Reach for that. Switch it, flat back one more time. And then take from here that knee back down. Lengthen and open. Elbow knee, elbow knee, step forward, lunge, triangle lengthen, reach, switch, and reach, and take that knee back down, open, lengthen, elbow knee, elbow knee, lunge, back foot, I'm reaching towards that same leg that from here with resting arm. Switch, pull back in, go ahead from here, take that knee down, open. So elbow knee, place that foot now, lengthen and open, reach, switch, reach, place it down, find that center of balance, open, Elbow knee, that's it. Elbow knee, lunge, triangle, reach, and switch. Chin from here towards that toe. Lengthen, open, you guys are great. Let's do three more. Elbow knee, reach, from here, lengthen. Pyramid, reach, and switch and reach, lunge, elbow knee, elbow knee, inhale, exhale, lengthen, chin towards that knee, place it back down, we've got one more time, you guys, elbow knee, reach for it, place that foot down, lengthen and open, reach, Switch, reach, place it down, and open. Nice deep breath in, you guys. Open, square up your shoulders. Now from here, we're threading the needle. Left arm under, reach and extend. Towards your right side, big breath now. Feel that space in your hips and your back and your legs. This just gives you the information of where you happen to be tight or tense today. Now it could be different. Every day can be different. Reach for it can depend on your workout, how you slept, how much you worked, how much you gardened. Big breath in. Other side. Great job, you guys. 
ear and the shoulder, reach and extend. And then as you come up, go all the way down that leg and then reach all the way across. So without shrugging your shoulders, nice big press in here. And then we're gonna take that right hand towards that foot and then open up here. Walking pose, reach the corner behind you, push your hips forward and don't shrug your shoulder. We're coming to a downward facing dog from here. So I'm gonna rotate over and push back and bicycle. Inhale, exhale. Nice big breath. So we're gonna go from a down dog to a plank with an alternating leg left and push it back. If in between that, I prefer to come here, I can go child pose, down dog, child pose, whatever feels best to me. Big breath in, lengthen. Come to your plank, neck in neutral, right leg, left leg, push back, down dog. Sink your heels back to a plank. Left leg, abs in. Right leg, push back. Either child pose or down dog. Plank it. Right, left, squeeze your buns. Now let's try adding the arm instead. So right arm, a left arm, push back. Plank, right, a left, push back. Plank, left, a right. Now try coming here, opposite arm and leg, bird dog, reach, sink, push back. Other side, reach, sink. Push back one more time, both sides, you guys, you got this. Reach, push back. One more time, neck in neutral. That's hard. Push all the way back, rock those knees, and child's pose. I'm just gonna take the hands right by the feet and roll the wrist out. Wonderful job, guys, we're going to Release the seat. All right. Now, I was at the park yesterday and doing my park social distance and elbows underneath the shoulders, leaning back, just looking at the beautiful trees. I was like, oh, wow, look at this. Set to do some abs. So what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna lengthen and you're gonna take and externally rotate your left leg. You're gonna tap from here, that right, and you're gonna bring it down and lift it up. Now, this leg can be as high as you want it to be and you don't even have to drop very low. But your neck stays in the throat, your abdominal muscles in. I'm gonna hover and lift. One, two, three. Exhale as you lift, four. Exhale, five. You got your inner thigh here as well as your lower abs. Seven, exhale, eight, two more, nine, 10. Now I'm just gonna switch feet. Drop it, lift it. Contracting the quadricep, pulling the belly button in. Three, four, too much on your legs or your hips from here. You can go elbow to knee from the ground. Four, three, Two, one more, and one. Bend your knees in, place your feet down, and come all the way back. Let's focus on this big imprint. Now, if I have my resistance band, I'm gonna take it from here and create a little bit of a hammock here for my head. Now, you can use your hands. You don't have to use a band, but I really like to use this because it also uses your arms a little bit more. So I'm gonna anchor from here, that band comes right behind the head, not the neck. So I'm bending my elbows, and then from here, 
She said, gentle lift where the shoulder blades come off, the chin is off the chest. Same thing as if I interlace my hands behind my head and create that hammock. So big breath in and print your spine. Walk your feet in as close as you feel comfortable and take that low back and give me a nice big press. So from here, inhale, exhale, imprint. Two, exhale, three, keep your chin off your chest, four, Exhale, five, you have that hammock holding your head up, six, seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine, now pulse it here, one, and two, three, low back pressing, four, chin stays off your chest, for six, and seven, let your head be heavy in your hands or the band, nine, one more, and 10, open it up. I'm gonna walk those feet together and lengthen that left leg. So really focus on the imprint. This is how we focus really on tying that breath into the movement. And from here, increasing from here, that strength in the core. So you exhale left, inhale down, force the air for one, two. Think about fogging up the glass, three, Exhale for four, exhale for five. Pull that belly button in, make sure that leg is lengthened with the opposite quadricep. Four, three, now two, pulse it, one, two, three. Make it small, imprint, keep your chin off your chest, reduce the feet under the chin. Two, and one, let it go. Switch sides, let's finish this strong. Low back down. Inhale. One, two, three. Relax from here for the shoulders. Five, head in your hands. Six, exhale. Seven, low back pressing. Eight, don't forget to breathe. Exhale left. The nine, right here, pulse it. One, two, use your breath. Three. You're exhaling on the exertion when the motion is hard to exhale. Four, three, now two, one more time. And one, a wonderful job, you guys. Take from here those knees and hug it out. So if I can hug behind my knees, if not in front of my knees, if that doesn't work and I need to take one knee at a time, adjust it. You can come to a happy baby pose, grab on the both feet, Take a moment, completely imprint your spine. Now feel this connection with your back. From here, your head, neck, and shoulders sinking. And then take, if it is comfortable, your legs and open. So if you can hold on to your toes, great. If not, you hold on to the calves or behind the knees and feel that nice big stretch and lengthen in your legs. Roll. So I'm going to show you guys something quick here because I have a wall that you can do to help you to restore the body. So if I have a wall, I want to work on my flexibility in my travel. I face sideways. I come back. I lengthen. I can come from here and then shoot the legs down as far as they'll go. So gravity can just take over. You can read your book, you can check your emails, whatever it is that you do. You can sit here and meditate or go to sleep, whatever you want, okay? But that's a great way to be able to work on increasing that flexibility. So what we're gonna do now, you guys, is I want you to come back to that neck and neutral the abdominal muscles in just for a second. I want you to curl your toes from here and just give me a big stretch. We're gonna come to Crouching tiger. And if this does not work, you guys, from the palms, you're going to come down from your elbows and knees here and just barely lift the knees up. So from the side here, you're still using your abdominal muscles, but your quadriceps start to come into this. So if it's too much, you would lengthen your legs and anchor lifting with your abdominal muscles and come back here and rest the knees if need be. So the goal is to keep from here the elbows bent neck in neutral, and just hover here. Now, if you can, with your palms, I want you to hover, take a nice deep breath in, and hold. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees, push back, child pose. Now, from this position, I don't have to come to Crouching Tiger. If I sink from here and squeeze my shoulder blades and left, notice the arms are not bending. You're sinking your chest through and squeezing your shoulder blades and then popping back up. Do that same thing from Crouching Tiger if possible. So hover, sink, one, two, three, four, five, six, use your back, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. Drop to those knees and push all the way back again. Great job, you guys. Let's come to a nice deep squat here from here. So I want you to push all the way back and like you're pushing your upper body slightly forward. I have a chair here, but this doesn't work to come all the way down. So nice deep breath in. Now I'm gonna try to push off of my legs and come back to that plank, walk my hands back and sink. Now, any way that you need to do this, maybe you're here, maybe you're gonna come slowly into here, you're gonna walk out maybe a little bit and then you're gonna come back up, whatever feels good for you. What I'd like you to do if you can is sink down as low as possible. You're either gonna go ahead and shoot your body forward and then walk back, or you're gonna walk your body forward. One, two, three, plank, back, two, three. Inhale, if you can, glide forward. Abs in and walk back. One more time, sink those hips. Wider step out, abdominal muscles in. Inhale, drop to those knees. Keep your knees out as far as you can and sink your hips back. Nice deep breath in. Increase that space in your spine. Hip flexors, deep breath in. Great job, you guys. Release your seat. Come all the way over your side. So give me a nice big stretch here. So I want you to reach nice and long all the way through the sides. Deep breath in, try to line up your body. You might feel a little bit of instability. Focus here on engaging the abdominal muscles. Lengthening the legs, inhale, and exhale. Take from here your top leg. You're gonna bend the knee. If it works, you can reach your toe, maybe your sock, maybe your shoe. You're gonna pull back from here. Now, if for instance, I have a hard time reaching my foot, what I can do is you can loop your foot here, hold on to it, and you can pull it back like this. So if I can grab onto that foot, I'm gonna reach it and really push it all the way back. Open up here through the quadriceps of the hip. Inhale and exhale. I'm gonna release that, come onto my back here, and then just come to that number four stretch. Almost done, guys. Big breath in, now externally rotate, foot can open. Inhale, increase that space in your hips. You can thread the needle here. You can come to a complete number four. You can hug it in. You can stay right where you are. You can lengthen that leg. All up to you, whatever feels best. Great job, you guys. We're just gonna switch and do the other side here. So I'm gonna roll it up or roll it over, lift it, and then find that nice long line. And reach. So first, just try to find that center. Sometimes you feel a little instability, so I can take that top arm if it helps. So to really lengthen it open. Inhale. 
Exhale, not going to accuse my resistance band to open up my quadricep, or if this is enough, I just bend my knee. You can also take my foot up against the wall. So reach from here, pull all the way back. You take your bottom foot and reach it farther forward. That helps with that counterbalance. So big breath in. Great job, you guys. We're going to flip it to the back. Number four stretch to finish. Open, cross it. Now, maybe just from here is all I need. Maybe I want to thread that needle, come up to that number four stretch. Or I need to come all the way down and just work on increasing from here that flexibility without hurting myself. Great work, you guys. Hug it out one more time. I'm just going to either roll it up. If it doesn't work for you to roll, you go ahead and roll over to your side and come up to that seated position. Let's go ahead from here, you guys, and open. Now, take a moment. What does this feel like? Stress. Let it go. Now, give me three shrugs. Shrug your shoulders. Inhale. And... Feel that difference? One more time. Great job, you guys. Go ahead from here and just draw your chin slightly towards that right and back up three times. One more time. So improving our, our mobility, our flexibility, our stability. And remember, you guys, you are how you move. Okay, so really try to focus on bringing movement into your day. Big breath in, exhale, open. You can go for a nice walk, reach for the sky. Pull into that heart center, and we're going to take one more big breath. And you guys think about all the blessings in our life, all the things we have to be grateful for. Relax your hands right on your heart, and gently bow your head. Namaste. Have an amazing day, you guys. Um, if you do it in person, I was thinking of 